uh, switch topics with me. Speaking of old cat with with gray hair. <laughs> I mean, listen. Yeah, I mean, you can't even make I'm this stuff say, up. Bro, <laughs> I, I'm sad to say. Sad. To say. Oh my god! Speaking of old cat with gray hair, let let let's take this thing to Vegas. Your man Keefe D. Oh, wow. You know, this man, and I really need to get your yeah, thoughts on yeah. this. Keefe D got arrested. You know, being in the car, they, they're saying that he was the one who handed the shooter the gun that killed Tupac. This man has literally been on a publicity tour telling anybody who will listen. It was me. I, I'm willing to give y'all every detail on planet Earth. What happened on the night that Tupac was murdered? And he got arrested and seemed surprised. What the, like, what is your thoughts on this? Keeping D is a perfect example of when clout chasing goes wrong. When, Without a when question. clout chasing goes wrong. You know, there's, there's, there's one drug out here that is worse than crack, more addictive than heroin, molly, Percocets, and everything. It's clout. It's attention. People fiend for that like it it was an opioid. You dig know what I'm saying? And so when people that haven't ever had that fame or that intention or that notoriety get it, it hits them like a drug. You know what I'm saying? And, and people sh you know, yearn for it. Keefe D went on a tour to tell on himself, literally, to attempt to sell books. Um, they, 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 there, was, there was a show called The Dumbest Criminals. Uh, he's definitely one of them. He's got to be the, you know, and I hate to say it, oh he's one of the God. dumbest criminals in the world. And the fact of the matter is that you openly, like this was your calling card. Hey, come interview me because I'm going to tell you that I murdered Tupac. Dummy. <laughs> so, I mean, at the end of the day, we can't, we can't sit here and, 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 and feel, you know, sad that this guy got what he was asking for. You were going around on a whole publicity tour. And I also want to say this as a journalist, as myself as well. It is not the journalist's fault that this nigga want to come on the platform and tell on himself. It is not our fault. Absolutely it's not, not our fault. Absolutely not. If you come on this platform and you incriminate yourself and say some stupid shit that's going to get you locked up, that's not our fault. It's not us. I'm not your daddy. I wasn't with. I ain't shoot the gun. No, bro. We push. We push record on the camera. Ask you a question, and your ass told on yourself. Now, Sean Paul's can ask me a question. Hey, Nietzsche, what were you doing September 11, 2001? I'm not gonna say I burned down the twin towers. <laughs> I did. So why the hell would Keefe D just go on this long tirade, years and years, platform after platform, of telling on himself and thinking that it wasn't eventually going to catch up with him when cloud chasing goes wrong? He gonna get whatever he asked for. He gonna get exactly what he asked for. He got it now. You know, it, it, it's the it's the most mind boggling insane uh this is one of them things like look what's that old saying uh, uh, uh a wise man learns from the mistakes <laughs> of others to all the young <laughs> to all them young thug life street dudes out there please this dude should be at the top of your list like real talk yeah, and i'm gonna tell you something nietzsche it, we we live in an era I, I would love to say that he is an exception to yeah. the rule. I would love to say that Keefe D, uh, you know, he is one in a million. <laughs> the Fed's life, like, like literally being a federal agent right now, being in law enforcement is easier than ever. <laughs> they literally sit with a box of donuts uh, and, 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 and coffee and scroll all day. <laughs> they are following every criminal that they are looking into. And they just wait for you to get on the gram 
and go live and snitch on right. yourself. And then they show up at your door and you wondering how this happened. Because you told them. Wow, bro. That clap, that drug. I, I don't get it, bro. It's the, it's the sickest drug. It's the most addictive drug in the world today. Clout. They love it. But can, can, but can you believe, like you, as a grown man, can you believe so many of these so-called street niggas is, is telling everything? And, and they live streaming everything for the world to see. Can you believe this is the world we live in? Like, like you know, I'm going to tell you why I believe it. Because I've seen what clout does to people. Clout's the reason why Joe Smith is on on all these things. So people were searching for clout. Clout's the reason why, you know, we we know Krishan Rock and Blueface, or, you know, we know who Krishan Rock is. Clout is the reason why half of these things that are in media happen is because people are in search of clout. And then you got to also understand one thing. When you get that attention, and you may not be accustomed to that level of attention, but when you get it, you got to you gotta also be ready for whatever comes with it. Because with attention comes hate. With the notoriety comes enemies. And you know, with as many people that want to, that are cheering you on, as many people that want to bring you down. And so you got to be very careful with that or whatever. And you know, it's just, it's a drug, man. And, and I've seen people crash out for it. I've seen people cross their homeboys out for clout. I've seen people leave their families for clout. I've seen people, you know, stab their own, you know, daughters and family in, in their backs. For clout, they homeboys. They they they, they, they sandbox homeboys, stab them in the back for the clout. And so, um, you know, it's just it's just a case of people that if, if you've never been that guy and you finally get your little chance to have your 15 seconds of fame and you do too much, well, you you, you got what you deserve, man. Dumbest criminals of the year, for sure. Keep it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.